Hey guys, welcome to another video. This time it's different to um what I always do. Instead, we're gonna see um the differences between a um official GameCube controller and um an off-brand GameCube controller. Now, if there's one thing you can see, or probably not, that the logo isn't on that one because it's the off-brand one. And the cords are different colours. And more changes is like this is more lighter than this one. It's darker. And that's more grey and this is lighter grey. Alright. So first we're gonna look at this. So thumbstick, left controller, this one moves slightly good all right I'm moving like that doesn't move okay so when we go to the, this one oh, okay i'm going to this one i'm doing this i'm not even moving it but as you can see it's got a loose grip with it and this is where i actually move it okay so next thing we're going to see is uh the buttons so it feels pretty soft and then this one takes it feels more harder to press so, um, same as the A button A button it's a bit harder and then we'll feel the official one quick movements and ooh, the X and Y buttons they feel the same to the official one now D-pad, um, yeah, it's sort of right for a D-pad. I know we're going to the fake one. It feels much better than the official. C-stick, it feels like it's a tight grip when we go to the official uh, one. More faster to move like that. And doesn't feel too rubbery, just like the other one. Next thing we're gonna go to is the um, the Z and L and R buttons. All right, so I'm gonna press the R button to the start. Okay, and um, left one, and then Z. They feel softer and much more easy to press. Okay, but then we'll go to the knockoff one. The Z button makes noise. The L and R buttons take much more force to press. And you don't know if you're actually pressing the buttons or not. And then when we... We're going to look at the sides this time. Okay. So it looks a bit fat, and then we'll look at this one. It looks a bit straight. Look at the differences. Can you see? The knockoff one is more uh, curved than the other one. And so next we're going to do is the start and pause button. Alright, so single press. I press it, okay? And this one. Okay. Requires a bit more force. Alright. It seems to be close to the end, but we'll take a look at the back. So, it's got like number, the uh, main china, black screws, and the things. We'll look at the official one. Back. It says Nintendo GameCube controller, Nintendo. Silver screws. It's all. But before we end the video, we're gonna see which one is more comfortable. All right. So I'm holding this one. Feels like your standard controller back from the 2000s. All right. So I'm playing. I don't know. Metroid. Cringe. All right. And then you want to press these. 
All right, but we're gonna go to the fake one. Feels more harder. Feels like it's meant for adults. That's what it feels like to me. I don't know about you guys, but I like the Z button on this one because you actually click it instead of a softer. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed my video. Sorry if it was too boring. See ya.